kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on advanced native ad mob ads in your Android Cycler views. So let's get started okay guys so without wasting any time we will continue from where we had left so now we will create a recycler view adapter so let's click a new create a new package and that will be adapters and let's create the new java class and that will be recycler view adapter all right and in this adapter we will have we will need to extend it with recycle recycler view dot adapter and here we can say recycler view dot view folder and all right and here we will have this uh okay so now what we can do is first of all we will have some uh, variables so first of all we will have private context then we will have private int menu item view type it will be zero and then we will have private int unified native add view type and it will be one okay and then we will create our list and then we can say private list of type object and we name it as recycler view items okay and then we have the default constructor so we can say this view adapter and first of all we will send our context so we can say context then we will have list of type object and we name it as secular view items then we can say this dot context equal to context and this dot recycler view items equal to recycler view items okay so after that we will have some methods so first of all we will have the let's generate all the methods here implement the methods okay so okay so here we have the on create view holder then we have on bind view holder and get item count so first of all inside our own create view holder first of all we can use the switch because we need to switch between these two view view types I mean the menu items as well as the native ads uh, so for that we can say switch and here we will have int i switch i and let's name rename i to view type okay and just copy it and paste it here then inside here we can say case unified native add view ads then we and here it is saying that then we have the case menu item type and then we will have default okay so inside our this case we are going to use view unified native layout view equal to layout inflator dot from and here we can pass view group dot get context dot dot inflate and we can say r dot layout dot add unified 
then we have the view group and finally we can pass the false here all right and then we can simply say return new unified native add view holder and here we can pass this unified native add this okay so here we will need to have this add unified here and also we need to add this class that we need to create okay so before that let's have a new class and that will be public class menu item view holder that will extend the recycler view dot view holder and let's generate the constructor all right and then we will have a couple of uh, views so first of all we will have public text view then we will have menu item name then we have menu item description menu item price menu item category then menu item image all right and then we can bind those views so for that we can say menu item name equal to text view and there we can say view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot menu item name then we can say menu item category and we can say dot find view by id menu item category then we will have menu item price then we will have menu item price and similarly we will have menu item sorry description and that will be menu item description okay so we have these four things and finally we need the image so we can say menu item image equal to text view item view item view dot find view by id menu item image all right so now we have this this class and we will just close that and okay so now we can create uh here why i am getting this error i don't know okay so it is saying that it needs a constant so let say final and also let's say final okay so now the error is removed so here inside our default so we can say view menu item layout view equal to layout inflated dot from and then we can say view group dot get context dot inflate 
and then we can say r dot layout dot menu item container then we will have the view group and then we can say false okay and then finally we can say return new menu item view folder and then we can say menu item layout view all right so now we have these two files that we need to add to our uh, this so add it to our uh, this layout resource folder so before that okay so in this video we now again we now need to have another adapter for our view holder and uh, that will be the unified native add view okay so let's create a new class and let's name it as unified native add view holder and this will extend with recycler view dot view holder and then we can say private unified native add view and we can name it as add view and then we can okay so here we can say public unified native add view get add view and here we can return our add view all right then we will have the default uh, constructor so let's have the constructor here but we don't need this add view here so we will just remove that and let's name it view all right so here we can initialize our add view so we can say add view equal to view dot find view by id and we can say r dot id dot add media and then we can say add view dot set head line view and then we can say add view dot find view by id uh, dot id dot a add head line then we can say add view dot set body view then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add body then we can say add view dot set call to action view then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add call to action then we can set the icon view so we can say add view dot set icon view and then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add icon then we can say add view dot set price view then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add price then we can say add view dot set star rating view then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot id add stars then we can say add view dot set store view and then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add store 
then we can say add view dot set advertiser view and then we can say add view dot find view by id r dot id dot add advertiser okay so i think that is enough uh, for this uh, video so i will create and the part 5 will be the last part of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye